Hey everyone, we're in the upper Midwest and the ice is starting to make its way off our lakes. Things are starting to thaw out and we're thinking about rigging our boats. Stick around, I want to talk about front dual bow mounts today and I've got some products to show you that I found that I think will make this season better for you. Hey everyone, up in the Midwest, lakes are starting to melt, things are getting to, to the point in time when we want to start rigging our boats. I know mine's at the dealership and I'm waiting to go pick it up, just got rid of my uh, last year's one, sold it to a fine gentleman from Chicago, he and his boy are going to do some bass fishing with it, super excited about that, can't wait to get on the water and help him. But I also can't wait to get mine rigged up, I've got a bunch of equipment ready to put on it. Uh, I think it's going to be my ultimate rig. But one of the things that I looked for, and I had a few videos this winter on uh, some of the electronics, like the LVS-34, the Garmin LVS-34, and the uh, uh, GPS Map 1222, that 12-inch screen. And then I'm going to have a Helix 12 on the front that's attached to my down imaging of my Ultrex. And I'll also have the uh, Humminbird Mega 360 on that 12-inch uh, helix as well. And those two big 12-inch graphs are going to be up at the front of my boat. And so one of the things I researched this winter were products on mounts, like double mounts for the front of your boat. And uh, you got your standard bass setup, maybe with a recessed foot pedal for your trolling motor. And then you've got a setup like mine, which is a little bit different. But I'm still looking for that style of double mount to take those two 12-inch uh, graphs. And I want serious stability in rough water. Uh, and I want something with some adjustability and some maneuverability to get it, you know, positioned right so you can see it, angles in the sun, out of the way of your trolling motor and things like that. So um, I've uh, uh, been looking at some products over the winter and I've landed on uh, some and, uh, and, and I want to show you a little bit about what I've found. And uh, bear with me a second while I get my layout right. But... Uh, first one I looked at was Boat Logics, um, and that Boat Logics unit, I think there's a patent pending on it for the maneuverability, but you can see it's kind of a, it's kind of a maneuverable style where you tighten down with an Allen wrench, um, and it's got the two top uh, brackets on there. It's all aluminum. It's got stainless hardware, 18 inches of total width. Uh, I guess one drawback, in my opinion, is it uses the stock gimbals and you know, those gimbals, uh, you, well, you might have uh, eighth inch aluminum on the rest of this bracket here. You've got, you know, the, the uh, uh, gimbals from the, from the manufacturer, and, and that then will be the weak link, I think, on this one. And it claims that all current graphs fit, and they got a $465 price tag on uh, that particular unit. Uh, that's one. And so I took a look at that. Uh, I had last year uh, a mount uh, called the G2 mount, made by G2 Marine. You'll see that at the end here. I'll pop up a picture of my setup. But that G2 Marine one was a two-piece uh, unit. Uh, it's all aluminum. Uh, it's got universal holes for the gimbals. It came with stainless hard. I think the stainless hardware was an upgrade. Actually, it came with stainless hardware and then theft deterrent type hardware. Uh, was an upgrade uh, for it, but that was just uh, the deterrent, you know, from ripping it off your deck uh, or whatever. And that one came in at 250 bucks. It was super solid. You bolted it down to your deck in three places, um, but it didn't have much maneuverability. As you can see, you could tilt the units, you know, you could tilt them back up and down on its on the manufacturer's gimbal mounts as well. Uh, but you didn't have any back and forth maneuverability on those. So that was the second type, and I've had this one. Uh, I would say it's a good product, lacked some of the maneuverability I think you'll need, and mainly you're going to need that to get it out of the way of your trolling motor. You know, the trolling motor comes right through that area at the front of your boat, whether you're a flat bass style boat or whether you're a multi species boat like I've got with a raised front. Um, you're still, you know, the trolling motor's mounted up there and it's going to get in the way, so you need some maneuverability. And so the last one that I found that I really liked and picked up was Bodie FX has a, a locking dual graph mount. And they had started making the locks. They make steps 
uh, one of the primary things they started with was aluminum steps from your trailer up into your boat. And I've got those as well. And that's going to be awesome. We'll do a separate video on that. But uh, late here this spring, they put, put together this locking dual graph mount. And they had been selling those locks. And those locks they were selling for 60 bucks a piece, I think, two for 120 if you purchased them if you purchase the locks separately. And, and the locks were something that intrigued me because last year on that G2 Marine one, I didn't have any locks. And, and if I went into a quick trip to get gas, I was nervous about somebody coming up, popping my electronics off and walking away with my $2,000 graph, you know? So, so the locks, uh, keep people honest. I said, for sure, going to keep the honest guy honest. Um, but uh, it's an extra peace of mind. And, and one of the knocks uh, over the course of the winter on the locks was that, you know, somebody could just unbolt it from your deck. Well, the solution they came up with at Bodie FX is they've got it locked not only uh, on the gimbal area, but it's also locked at the connection point of the two uh, adjustable brackets, and it's also locked at the deck. So the hardware is locked. And you know what? You're going to have to take a crowbar to this and rip it off the front deck to get everything out of here. And that's that's an extra layer of protection that I really like. And while the $695 price is the highest of the three I've shown you, that's including one, two, three, four, five, six, seven locked areas on that fastening system to lock it down. The other thing I like about this is it's got three points of contact. You'll see a little brace in the back that's pinning it to the deck. This thing is going to be absolutely bulletproof in rough water. The other thing I, I'll note about it that I like is the fact that it comes with um, uh, the same sort of uh, powder coated um, painted aluminum that's the same thickness, you know, those quarter inch thick gimbal brackets that are fully adjustable. So that whole unit will be able to slide back and forth and you'll and you got full adjustability on your gimbal size. Um, uh, as well. So a lot of adjustability, a ton of security, and a lot of stability in this one. So I picked it up and uh, I got it. And the first thing I noticed is it's super high quality. I got the blue and black one. My, I've got the uh, uh, 1750 Fishhawk coming in a blue and midnight black edition. So it's going to be badassery. And uh, this is going to look nice on it. Here's the main plate. They come in a couple of different sizes. I got the 18 inch and that's the total clear width is 18, not the interior that, you know, that's foot pedal size. But for me, I'll show you where I'm going to put it on the top of mine. So it comes with that piece It in the box. It comes in the box. They've got the hardware in the right place to, to, to start with. They've got the lock on there over the top of the hardware. So that piece comes beautifully powder coated aluminum thick sturdy yet still light with the aluminum uh, came with some ins instructions and of course they're thanking you for the order but if you've got questions on installations you, they give you some contact information uh, high quality stuff good customer service uh, the stainless steel hardware and the lock mechanisms all individually labeled packages in here with the instructions on how to assemble it um, the separate little bracket in the back that pins it to the deck that gives it that third leg and that extra piece of rough water stability. Uh, and then of course everything came uh, bubble wrapped and protected but it's got both port side and starboard side uh, gimbals. And I like that because uh, again the weakest link isn't the manufacturer gimbal. There is no weak link in this particular mount that I can see. Uh, my engineering background tells me that this is going to be bulletproof. The other cool thing they give you uh, in here is uh, the, the covers to keep the, the lids on my, the covers from blowing off. And even though they lock on, on the Helix and the Garmin GPS map uh, 1222, uh, I've lost some covers. If you don't have some sort of a strap on them when you're traveling down the road or the lake, you, those things can blow off. So they give you a, a cool Bode FX uh, bracket to cover the top. So a uh, really cool product. I thought, I thought it was a fair price for the quality you were getting. Uh, even though it was the highest in here, if you take away the locks, which I was thinking about buying anyways, it's a, it's a, uh, right there with the industry standard for that kind of protection. Um, here's a, a shot of my boat. You can see last year I had that G2 mount, uh, on the top and I'll get some photos when I install this, uh, the Bode FX 
lockable one on there, I think that's going to be even better. And I'll have the peace of mind, you can see there I don't have locks on my units. And uh, you go into a store or something, gas station or something, certainly you'd never leave that overnight, you'd have to pull that all apart. I think with this, it would be a project to steal your Bode FX brackets and your electronics. You'd have to get a crowbar out and rip the shit out of the whole front of that boat in order to get that. And that's the kind of peace of mind you want. Um, you know, I'm probably taking my graphs off if I'm staying overnight somewhere. Uh, but if I'm running into a quick trip, if I, if I have to be away from my boat for a little, for an hour, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I've got that reasonable level of confidence that no one's going to mess with my stuff. I've deterred them enough with, uh, with this product. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited about to get this on the boat. And, um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll check back in. Uh, with with that when, when I do so that you can take a look at how it looks and then for sure we'll do a video on the steps because those Bode FX steps are going to take my old man fishing loading the boat game to a whole nother level I'm a pretty athletic 52 year old man but uh, I want to fish until I'm 82 and and getting in and out of my boat and I don't have to do some sort of gymnastics dismount in order to get onto the ground from the trailer to my boat and even just around here back and forth getting up in and out of the boat when you're doing stuff uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome so I uh, hope you found this useful uh, check out that boat EFX dual mount uh, if you got any questions about mounts like I said I had the G3 last year if you got any questions about them uh, basically moving up uh, in quality maybe and, and a little more maneuverability is the the main thing for me in terms of adjustability at the front because I'll be able to pull that whole uh, EFX, Bode FX mount system over to the right you can see by sliding it over the top brace which will free up some room for my Ultrex trolling motor as you can see down that side view of that right image your trolling motor comes right down in front of your graph so you need some adjustability there to get them out of the way especially when you're using 12 inch or bigger units so if you like the video please subscribe uh, I'd love to hit get a like from you and a comment on what you're using uh, and if you got any questions about that boat EFX one, I'm going to be putting it on and uh, check back with me on that. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Talk to you next time on the water.